All right, hey scholars, we're going to do some more problem solving today. Okay, I want you to get another sheet of notebook paper, and I want you to solve the following problem. Okay, we will, I'm going to go over it later in the video, but I want you to pause it and try to solve the question on your own, and then check yourself. Okay, so please write this question down on your paper. Solve it, use your strategies, underline the question, circle keywords and key data. Remember to use the chart. Solve it, and I'm going to ask you to pause the video, and then when you're done solving it, to check yourself. Okay, so we're going to pause the video and solve the problem. Welcome back. Let's check your work. A corner store sold the following soft drinks one summer. How many soft drinks were sold in June and July? So we're going to underline our question. Okay. We want to know how many soft drinks that were sold in June and July. Okay. So if we come up here and look, we can see our chart tells us the month and the number sold. And we know we want June and we want July. We don't need August. So we want to look at these numbers right here. And if we want to know the total number, we want to know how many soft drinks were sold in both of those months. This and right here is telling us we are going to combine them. And that means we needed to add. So we're going to take 343, 488, add them together. 3 plus 8 is 11, carry the 1, 1 plus 4 is 5, plus 8 is 13, carry the 1, 1 plus 3 is 4, 4 plus 4 is 831 soft drinks. We can check our answers right here and make our selection. Now I want you to take this problem and change it up. You can change just the numbers in the chart. You can change it to something else being sold. You can change the months or if you want to do days or weeks or something like that. I want you to change it up and I want you to create your own question and solve it.